All right, folks, how's it going? Thank you so much for joining me. My name's Dida. For the time being, I'm still a HTV driver, still a Todd in a truck. I am, well, I've been in an MAN for the last couple of nights, but it is what it is. Now, I don't know what I'm going to call this video at the moment. There is a possibility that I could be leaving the HTV industry. I've actually got an interview tomorrow. It's nothing to actually do with the HTV industry. It's nothing to actually do with the HTV industry at all. It's nothing to do with driving. But we'll see what happens. Um, the interview's at 4, 4 o'clock tomorrow. Um, I don't think it'll be an instant thing. I don't think I'll be off straight away. But anyway, it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, life goes on. Life rolls on. All will be explained in the future, possibly, depending on what actually happens. So, anyway. Recently... I've been getting, well, since that haters video, I have got an absolute boatload of messages. And I mean hundreds, hundreds of messages. And I do apologise, I can't keep up. I cannot reply to them all. I've replied to about 95% of the messages on Facebook. And I've replied to about 50% on Instagram at the moment. I've still got about 80 to go through the requests. Elliot, please leave me alone. God, man, um, and there's been a lot of them that are really quite shocking, to be quite honest with you, really quite shocking. Now, if I do leave the HTV industry, I do kind of want to keep up with my YouTube channel. I want to keep on helping people in some way, shape or form. Yes, I might not have been helping people as such recently, I have done like, um, have I done uncoupling and coupling? I've done the taco thing. You know, I do try and help here, there and everywhere. I've done the old HTV training thing. But recently, anyway, with this hate video that I've put up, um, haters getting me sacked from Hermes, um, it is genuine. It is honest. I did genuinely get sacked because of, well, not sacked, I kind of got stopped being used um, because of... Haters phoning up and complaining about me. That did actually happen. Even though, supposedly, they're crying out for staff at Hermes. It is what it is. Whatever. I moved on. Happy days. I think I did one night without work. Didn't, did I do? I might have done one night without work. I might have done none. I can't really remember. But anyway. Anyway, we'll get to the point. I've had loads of messages talking about mental health. About haters in general. Not just on social media. Just people being bullied, um, I've had all sorts, I had one today, I've had a message literally five minutes ago, which has kind of pushed me to make this video, and it was a guy that had, his wife has just said that she no longer cares for him at all, and he suffers with head health problems, and he's not taking it very well, and for some bizarre reason, He's come to me. He's come to me and asked me. I've had so many like this. So many messages like this. So many messages about how I have personally dragged people through a hard time. I don't know. I don't know how I do that, to be honest. But if some people, if it helps some people, then that's brilliant. So if I do leave the industry, what I'm thinking of doing is trying to carry on helping people. Now, one question I've been asked over and over and over and over again is, how did I start off with nothing, nobody, here in Runcorn, on my own, after getting out of an abusive relationship? Now, I think the entire story is for a different video. Um, I might do it one day. You'll let me know if you want to know, if you want to know the ins and outs of my life. I don't mind posting it so people can maybe relate. You know, like I say, I do want to help people. I have been looking actually into going into support work. That is one thing I've been looking at. Um, but yeah, if, if you want to know that, let me know. Let me know. Feel free. What I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to try and just go through a couple of points that some people can use starting from today. You can start doing it right now. So it, 
if you're a younger lad, teenagers, if you're in your teens, maybe your early 20s or if you're going through a crisis at the moment, this might help. If you hate me and you know it all and you are God's gift to women and the best thing since sliced bread and whatever else, then just click off this video because it's not going to be for you. You're not going to accept any of it. You're not going to believe any of it. And it's, it's just going to be the biggest load of rubbish that you've ever listened to. So you might as well just go now. For anyone that wants to know, a couple of things that I've done when I was here on my own, dwelling over my past 16, 17 years of wasted life, which is what it was because I was just the biggest simp in the world. I was just, I don't even know, I, I can't even word it without getting shouted off people. I was just a drip, an absolute melt. And I wanted to rectify it. I thought, I'm not living my life like that. It's not going to happen. Not happening. So, anyway, this is what I did. The first thing that you've got to start to do, number one. And if this video goes down well and you want more of it, then I'll put more effort into editing it. But at the moment, I'm just going to leave it as one long thing, continuous thing. And I'm just going to crack on with it. Let me know if you want these kind of videos on my channel. It's entirely up to you. Um, the first thing you've got to do is start trusting yourself. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to trust that where you're going in life is actually going to be productive. You've got to make sure it is. You've got to put yourself number one. Don't put anyone else before you. You are number one. You don't have to be completely selfish and just care about just yourself. But you have to trust yourself. You have to trust in your purpose and you have to trust what you're doing. Trust where you're going. Trust the decisions you make. If you cock up, don't apologise for it. Because as long as you fully trust yourself, if you if you make a mistake, then it is what it is. As long as you trust your decision making, if something does go wrong, then whatever. You start again. You try again. This is exactly what I've been doing. This is what I've been like. I've put up videos and they've not been the best. I've got a lot of hate for them. But I trust what I'm saying is right. And there's been a big, massive example of that. Very, very recently, no names mentioned. I was pretty much bang on the money because one person is leaving a career that they said that they, they liked, found out that they'd not liked it for a while, and now they're leaving. If you can link any connections, there you go. But it turns out that I was pretty much right about that. Again, I've got to trust myself saying that on camera or else... I'm going to get grief for it and I'm going to melt under pressure and I'm going to get all the haters and all the simps and all that stuff and all the white knights and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to get all that. Whatever. I'm not making a wrong decision. What I'm saying is right. I believe it to be right. I trust it's right. So there you go. And when you start to fully trust yourself, you start to get an aura about you where people know that you're a confident person and that you're trusting your decision making. People know all... People can feel it. They can just feel it. And uh, the second thing, you've got to express yourself without fear. You've got to be true to your word. You've got to go out there and get what you want because no one else is going to get it for you. Nobody's going to get anything out there for you, especially if you're a man. It's a little bit easier if you're a woman. If you're watching this and you're a woman, you will know. It's a little bit easier. You know, rules do get bent for females. This is a big thing at the moment. Well, it's kind of passed a bit now, but it was a big thing about like the police force, the army, and fire brigade, stuff like that, where rules got bent for women. And then there was this big massive kerfuffle about the, uh, was it the Marines or the Navy SEALs? It was one of them two, where not one female passed selection. And there was a video that circulated YouTube saying, we're not bending the rules for you. You match up to the standards that we've set. Just because you're a woman, you don't get any, you don't get an easier set of rules or tasks. You do the same tasks as everyone else. If you're not up to it, then tough. You've got to express yourself without fear, um, and you've got to go out there and get what you want. An example of this was when I was working at WS. It was it was Friday afternoon. I was ready for leaving. There was another lad there, and we were stood outside the transport office. He's cussing and swearing. I hate this place. Hate it. Blah blah blah. I'm, I'm going to leave. I'm telling you now. I know what he's going to say when I go in here. He's going to tell me he wants me to run out. and I've got to run back in on Saturday morning. I'm not doing it. There's no way I'm doing it. I went, listen, mate. 
I said, yeah, you are. Said, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I said, you are. I said, he's going to go in there now. There is no way you're going to throw them keys at him. Yes, sir. Watch me. Watch me. Right, okay, mate. We walked in and the planner said, right, I need you to run to secure a fence and you're running down to such and such a place in the morning and then you can run back in. You can't come back straight Saturday, Saturday morning. And he went, uh, okay. And I went, whoa, 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 wait a minute. In front of the planner, I said, you've just been telling me that you're going to throw the keys at him if he tells you that you've got to run in on Saturday morning. I said, what are you doing? And he said, well, it's a bit of extra money, isn't it? Like, why? Why? Why chat rubbish like that? Why chat shit? If you don't want to do it, just stand there and just say no. You've got to express yourself without fear. No, not doing it. If the company doesn't like it, tough. You've got to know that you've got options. I've got options. I did have options. I dropped my phone, dropped my keys on the Wednesday that I left and when I got a new job. Hermes, let me go, whatever, went and got a new job. People call me all the names under the sun for it, but I went and did it. Whatever, it is what it is. Number three, don't try and impress anyone. You don't need to impress people. Just impress yourself. Sort yourself out, sort your own act out. Whatever you've got doesn't really matter. And do you know a prime example of this was me and my car. When I met the girl that I'm with now, I remember my car was absolutely immaculate. It looked amazing. I'd not had it very long. It was polished, waxed, cleaned, mint. And um, I remember telling her beforehand that my car was stunning. And I said, I've got a Subaru. And she's like, I don't know what a Subaru is. It's just a car to me. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know what it is? She's like, I don't know what it is. It's just a car. Car's a car. Could not care less what your car is. And I went meeting her. And I said to her, right, have a look around this car park and see if you can guess which car mine is. And she's like, that one, that one, that one. I'm like, oh my God, no, no, no. And when we got in it, I'm like, I'm into this car. And she's like, it's just a car. I went, oh, I'm going to have to take you for a drive then. Because 410 horses, it's going to make you smile. I floored it, she went, I hate it. Don't like it. She won't come in the car. She don't like it. And that was me. Got my car, thought it impressive. Didn't. She's not interested in any way, shape or form. She doesn't care. Couldn't care less. So, don't try and impress anyone. Just know that what you've got inside, the way you act, the way you present yourself, the way you express yourself without fear, the way that you trust yourself, the amount of confidence that you've got in yourself, that is going to automatically impress people. You just have to be secure in yourself and that is going to attract people to you. That's how it's going to work. Number four is boundaries. You've got to know how to set boundaries. Set boundaries for yourself. Set boundaries for your relationships. You've got to be able to set proper boundaries. And a boundary isn't a rule. It's not like a dictatorship. It's a, I will not put up with this kind of behaviour. For example, a boundary is, if you're going on a night out and you say that you're going to be out there at 7 o'clock and your missus is doing a makeup and faffing about and she's been getting ready for three hours, messing about, and you're late and it's quarter past seven. You turn up, you say to your missus, I am late and I'm, I don't appreciate that. That will not happen again. If you go out again and she does the same thing, you repeat it, maybe again, or depending on how strict your boundary is, when it gets to a time where you're going to be late, just get up and go. Doesn't matter, don't need to tell her, don't need to warn her, it's a boundary. She's been told once that I am not going to be late. You don't say you have made me late, you say I'm not going to be late. So you go. And then she's an adult, she can deal with it herself. That's a boundary. A boundary that I've put in place from the very beginning of every relationship is we don't stay in hotels without each other. Whether you like that boundary or not, that's entirely up to you. It's not a rule. I'm not going to say she can't stay in a hotel, but I don't stay in hotels without my partner. It's my boundary. If she does it, then there'll be repercussions. It's a boundary. You need to set them boundaries with everyone in life. Like, listen, sir, I don't work Saturdays. I'm not working Saturdays. So when it comes to Friday afternoon, if they turn around and say, oh, sorry, mate, you've just got to go to such a place and then run in Saturday. I don't work Saturdays, I'm on my way back to the yard. And you don't need to come across as a dick. You just need to enforce your boundary in a cool, calm, collective manner. You don't need to be aggressive about it. You just say, I don't work Saturdays. I won't be running in on Saturday, I don't work Saturdays. That's it. And like I say, you don't have to apologise for it. It's your boundary. 
you've told them beforehand. You'd never want to make a boundary at that time. You'd never want to make a boundary when it's actually in progress. You want to make your boundary before it happened. So with me and the hotel thing, if my missus says to me, I'm going out at weekend, I'm just letting you know I'm staying in a hotel in Edinburgh. And I went, uh, uh, no, 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 you don't stay in hotels without me. You can't do that because that's just, that's just wrong. You can't make a boundary at the time. You make a boundary before the fact. You make it way before, let them know we don't stay in hotels without each other. We go to bed at night together. That's how it happens. That's how it works. That's something that I've always valued. It's something that I'll always do. You don't say that to them, but I'm just saying it to you. You've got to be able to set boundaries for yourself and that makes you a respectable person. Them four things I've told you, they help. They do help and it'll get you on the track to being a better person and to focus more on yourself and what's go than what's going on around you. And when you do start focusing on yourself, when you start taking into consideration that you are the most important thing, you are awesome, then things start to get a little bit easier in life. If you do like this kind of video, I'll put more effort into it, I'll write more notes, I'll edit it better, but I just wanted to put something out and just let you know that, yeah, I might be leaving, whatever. And I do want to take, possibly take my channel in a different direction. But we'll see. I might start doing live vlogs, day-to-day -day stuff, instead of driving. Um, I might do this self-help. I may, might start playing Euro Truck Simulator. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens down the line. If you do like this kind of stuff, just give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down and let us know why. Let us know if it was the biggest pile of rubbish you've ever heard. Um, give us constructive criticism. Anything like that. If I'm taking this channel in a new direction, I'm going to have to have some sort of criticism from you lot. So... Yeah. Thanks for watching. Take care. My name's Dida. For the time being, I'm a touch in a truck. See you later. Ciao.